Oh, boy. So remember that comedy storm that Cat Williams unleashed? It's not over. It's still here. <laughs> There's a lot of thunder. There's a lot of lightning and a lot of lots of fire got started in a lot of areas. And I'll tell you, Dave Chappelle slams Cat Williams for dissing other black comedians. Now, there was one article, according to Variety, and then this right here is Deadline, and there was a couple other sources that basically had the article that was pretty much worded the same. It's all really saying the same thing here. Dave Chappelle does not agree that Cat Williams' viral interview insulting some of his peers has been good for comedy. Dave Chappelle criticized Cat Williams taking aim at Ice Cube and Kevin Hart, among others, when Cat appeared earlier this month on Club Shay Shay podcast. Chappelle spoke out when he appeared on stage at Mun D Ray's at Hollywood Improv on January 19th, an event hosted by comedian D Ray Davis. The Cat Williams interview blew up virally and was even referenced last night on SNL. Excuse me, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, SNL tackles everything, so you kind of expect that. Cat Williams also had comments about Cedric the Entertainer and Steve Harvey in his Club Shay Shay rants. Although Chappelle is known for a strict no cell phone policy during his sets, segments of his Cat Williams bit circulated on social media. He said, what part of the game is this? He ethered black folks. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. None of these white boys function like that. Cat is one of the best painters in the game, so why are you drawing ugly pictures of us? Stop. Hurt people hurt people, but I'm a hurt person that never hurt people, and he does it all the time. Impersonating Cat Williams, Chappelle said, F this one and F that one and F this one and F that one before adding, but I didn't hear anything that you did wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. Cat didn't do anything wrong. Cat was talking about stuff that people did to other black folks, but not anything that black folks did to him. Chappelle continued, if I told my story, it would break your heart. I lost everything and never, ever told on anybody. And this dude's the arbiter of truth. Cat, listen. I mess with Cat hard, but D-Ray, tell me, what part of the game F's up another black dude's paper? What part of the game is about telling on another black person? The comedian questioned why Williams would controversially call out peers when call out his peers when all of us are trying to be in a better situation <laughs> now there's actually some comments underneath this and some of these look quite interesting let's see where we can go with this right here hold on a second hold on let me go back to it i just messed it up sorry about that there we go one person here says tell him dave put that small man back in his box cat williams is a low-rung comedian and has never been relevant outside his small niche of equally low-rung fans. Didn't he lose a fight to a teenage kid? Now, again, before I go on with this, let me just say this. In context, I agree with what most of Chappelle is saying. And I listen, Cat Williams, I've seen the interview. And he, I would say most, if not everything that he said, was accurate. He did provide some receipts for certain things. He did provide the evidence that Cedric stole from him because Cedric did a set on the Kings of Comedy, which was to this very day the, the best group comedy special that has ever existed. Nothing can top it. And that set that Cedric did, or that joke that he did at the end of his set, was something that Cat Williams did when he was on Comic View. Comic View, a show that was very much similar to Deaf Comedy Jam. And it was all hilarious. And I will say the part where I disagree with Cat, or I'm not really as strong on this, is he referenced when Kevin Hart implied that he wouldn't put on a dress because that's a boundary that he wouldn't cross. But then Kevin Hart puts on the dress and he gets public flack for it. And he says, I put on the dress because I thought it was funny. And here's the thing. I've talked about this in the last video where I, I said, look, Kevin, the, Kevin Hart was doing an interview in 2012, I think that was, maybe 2013. And... The guy who was interviewing him, he asked him, he said, would you put on a dress? And Kevin's exact response was, there are certain boundaries and limits that I wouldn't cross. And you, you just got to know your boundaries. Now, as I said before, and I'll say it again, that statement could be interpreted in one of two ways. It could be saying, 
yeah, putting on a dress is a limit for me and I'm not going to cross that limit. So therefore I'm not putting on the dress or he could be saying, and this is, this sounds a little more sneaky. This is more sneaky language. And a lot of celebrities tend to do this. He could be saying, yeah, there are certain limits that I wouldn't cross, but putting on a dress is not one of those limits. Yeah, I could do that. But there are certain other things that I would not do. If you ask me for, you know, hypothetical example, if you ask me for some sexual favor where I got to do something for another man or do this for, I'm not doing that. And I personally think that that scenario is more likely than the former. I think the, the, the latter is more likely than the former. And, but even whichever one of them is more accurate to me, it doesn't matter because, okay, so he put on a dress. So what? He, he was already big and famous. He got more big and famous after he did that and he did Saturday Night Live. He already had big movies out there. I mean, you had both Ride Along movies. You had both Think Like a Man movies and About Last Night, the movie he did with Will Ferrell, Get Hard, the movie he did with uh, Josh Gad, was it? I think that's his name. The, the guy who did Wedding Ringer with him. Forgive me if I'm, I've said the wrong name, but I think that's who it was. I'm like, okay, so he did that. Tyler Perry made his living doing Medea and he's got fans across the country, probably across the world for that. Martin Lawrence, Big Mama, Jamie Foxx, Wanda, you know, Martin also plays Shanae, stuff like that. So I guess my question to Kat would be, okay, well, they did that. How's that affecting you? You still do what you got to do. So again, this is not meant to be anti-Cat. I'm still very much pro-Cat. He's still one of my favorite comics. Him, Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Cedric Steve. A lot of these are these are my favorites so here's this right here the one person said quote unquote hurt people hurt people but i'm a hurt person that never hurt people he says come on dave you can't be serious the last five years or so you've been going out of your way to hurt people and you have the nerve to get bent out of shape about cat williams shooting his shot ridiculous so i think what that person is referring to is Especially in these last few years, I would say since 20, especially since 2019 and really especially since 2020, 21, when Dave Chappelle was doing these last few specials where he was making a lot of jokes about transgenders, gays, lesbians, bisexuals, you know, the LGB community. And, you know, let's not forget the guy was physically attacked on stage <laughs> during a set by a guy who was a bisexual who was offended by his jokes and to which I always say this, I know all of our parents and all of our grandparents told us this, and this is a very old saying, but it still applies today because it's still very much true and it's very much, it's, it's sensible. First of all, if you don't like what somebody has to say, especially if you're watching an entertainer, you don't have to watch them. Change the channel. You don't like Chappelle. You don't like Chris Rock. You don't like Kevin Hart. You don't like their jokes they make about gay folks. You don't like when they attack certain politicians or they make jokes. Then don't watch them. You're a Republican. They make jokes about Bush and Trump. Okay, if that offends you, then don't watch them. Same thing on the other side. If you're a liberal and you're watching a conservative comedian, they make jokes about Obama and Clinton and Biden. Don't watch them if that offends you. Just don't watch any of them. You don't have to listen to any of them. I've talked about before. You don't have to Limbaugh, Alex Jones, none of them. So, and I would say that as far as the point about Dave Chappelle hurting people, I'm assuming that's what he meant, but... If he's talking about the transgender thing, then by that case, I could make the argument to say that he's hurt black and white people because he made jokes about black people and white people in the past. He's also made jokes about Mexican people. He's also made jokes about Asian people. His wife is Asian. He'll make, he'll make fun of her sometimes. I mean, is he hurting his wife? Is he hurting them? So, and by the way, that same thing could be applied to almost every comedian. Why? Because as Chappelle said himself, most comedians are going to be a-holes and most comedians make fun of almost all comedians make fun of pretty much everybody. And so if you don't like them, don't watch them. You don't have to don't watch them then. So, and I'm not against the idea of Cat Williams shooting his shot. So he's a comedian who he has freedom of speech and he can say what he wants just like the rest of them can. One person says, go cat y'all haters. One person says Netflix should dump Dave Chappelle for Cat Williams now. I don't know about that. One person calls Dave Chappelle a sellout. All right. So here's what I want to say about that. Here's what I want to say about that. 
we all know, as we've already established and we've stated, so Cat Williams had called out a lot of other comedians for being sellouts because they sold themselves to get famous. Now, here's a piece of misinformation that I've seen on Dave Chappelle. It appears to be misinformation because I haven't found anything on it. I see a lot of these different articles and videos that say that Dave Chappelle calls Kevin Hart a sellout. And then I had to put two and two together. I thought about like, wait a minute. I've seen Dave Chappelle tour with Kevin Hart recently. Him and they, the three of them toured. It was Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle, and Chris Rock. Why would he be touring and hanging around and doing comedy with somebody who he calls a sellout? And then I'm thinking myself, like, let me look for a video where he actually called him that. I don't see anything. I remember seeing the interview with him in, on Oprah Winfrey's show back in 2000, what was that, five or six? And he said, yeah, people in Hollywood, you know, they corrupt and whatnot and things happen. I, don't, I didn't hear him name Kevin Hart specifically. And maybe he doesn't have an opinion of Kevin Hart putting on the dress. Maybe he doesn't care. But all in all, I think most of us can give respect to Chappelle for standing by his set of principles and morals and saying, hey, they tried to get me to wear a dress. They said, hey, we'll give you $50 million. And I'm like, no, nah, I ain't doing it. And he didn't do it. And his show got canceled and a lot of contracts he had, they went away. And then guess what? In the long run, it actually didn't hurt him. If anything, it may have helped him a little bit because now he's making even more money than what they initially offered him. Now he gets $20 million per special. And since 2015, well, 2017, because that's when he started releasing the, the Netflix specials, he's had seven specials since then. Seven specials. Each special, he got paid $20 million. So out of that, he got $140 million. So he can look back at that $50 million and say, man, eh, that was nothing. Yeah, whatever, forget that. Chappelle is just fine. So I don't see him being a sellout. Now, the only reason I can think of why this person might be calling Chappelle a sellout is because he thinks that Chappelle called Kevin a sellout and now he's criticizing Kat for calling Kevin a sellout. So it's like, apparently he didn't really say that about Kevin then. At least I haven't heard that. Now, if anybody has a video of like video slash audio evidence of Chappelle actually saying that Kevin is a sellout, then put it in the comment section below. This is not an argument. This is just me. Again, I could be wrong on this. Now, what was another one that I saw? OK, here we go. Let me go to the older ones. This person says you are telling the truth fact. One person here says, wait a second, Dave Chappelle has an issue with something someone said? Oh, how rich. I get what that means because Dave Chappelle, and along with a lot of other comedians, say things on stage and some people get offended by it and he just says, so what? I'm going to say what I have to say. You don't like my LGB jokes. You don't like my jokes about Trump or whatever. I'm going to make these jokes all I want to. And Dave Chappelle said himself. He said, listen, if you don't want to, uh, you know, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to waste your money to come see my show. I'm still going to say what I got to say. So, I mean, I don't know. He doesn't do it all the time. So when it happens, it's actually noteworthy. A lot of professional victims out there need to take note. This one right here says... Dave Chappelle must have amnesia or something because his mouth has gotten banned, gotten him banned because of his attacks on people. Doesn't matter who or why, because his statement was broad. Again, you can say that about a number of other comedians who. I'm trying to think of how to respond to that one. That's a tough one right there. I should have told you this video was probably not going to be the most organized, but I've said that on some of my other videos. Uh, here's the thing. I don't see. I think Dave Chappelle sees Cat Williams as punching down. Now, Dave Chappelle clearly said in his special, in The Closer from 2021, he says, listen, he's like, it's ridiculous that people would accuse me of punching down on somebody when all I'm doing is just, these are just jokes and I just like to bring things to the light and just make fun and bring everybody into the room and be happy and just laugh about it. We, hey, I make, he's like, I make gay jokes. I got gay fans. I make black jokes. Obviously, I got black fans. I make white jokes. I got white fans. 
I make Mexican and Asian jokes. I got Mexican fans, Asian fans. My wife is Asian. I make fun of her. We argue stuff. We laugh about whatever. So I don't know. I don't know that I would consider those to be attacks per se. And he said in his special, he's like, I don't hate transgender people. I just don't live the life. I don't see that as an attack. And just like I tell people, say, hey, I don't, you know, smoke weed or anything like that. But, you know, just because I say I don't smoke it and I don't care about it. That's not an attack on people who like to smoke and get high. I see that same thing with what Chappelle is saying. You cannot be for something. It doesn't mean it's an attack on it. So let's see. This person said in response, he said, you missed his point. He was apparently only talking about white trans people. LOL. OK. Dave Chappelle is mad because of himself. This person right here says, thank you, Chappelle. You hit it right on the head. Cat is a man that brags about having 19 felonies, but no conviction. He needs to try to figure out why he keeps committing felonies in the first place. It's obvious he has some things going on with him. He is definitely a hurt person that wants to hurt others, too. The person underneath it said, do you understand what he did? He's trying to stop people who just steal younger comedians jokes. And because they have a bigger platform, they get away with it. Cat only showed the world what they were doing to their own people. OK, that's a little bit more legitimate. I could see that. I don't know how many comments there are under this, but if there's too many, I'm not going to go through all of them. This guy here says, I love Dave Chappelle, but he was loud and wrong on this one. He clearly didn't watch the interview. Everyone that Cat spoke about talked about him first. Where was the energy when Kevin was on The Breakfast Club calling Cat a drug addict? Notice he never said Cat was lying. Okay, on that point, I'll say this. So the whole idea about him being a drug addict. Okay, now that might have been false. And it's like, okay, I don't know if Kevin Hart said that because did he actually believe that Cat was on drugs or did someone just tell him and he went along with it or the Hollywood elites told him to say it? I, I don't know the case. I don't know none of these people personally. So I can't sit there and tell you exactly why he thought that or why he said that. I don't know. Now, there was one comment that I saw here that I can't find it right now. And I just saw it before I pulled up this video and I don't know how I lost it. But there was something here that said something along the lines of Cat Williams. You can't expect. So Cat Williams is crazy because he's he went off on all these comedians and he ex he basically expected none of them to respond back. Um, That's a maybe because I don't know whether he. I don't think it really mattered much about what he expected from the other comedians. I mean, a lot of them have said stuff about it, but I mean, so what? That happens in this type of industry. And one thing's for certain, and like we know, a lot of comedians are controversial. Controversy comes with being a comedian, no matter who you are. Now, obviously, every comedian's controversy isn't the same. The controversy on Dave Chappelle isn't quite the same as the controversy on somebody like, I don't know, an Andrew Dice Clay, where... He got banned from all these stations because of his foul mouth and he couldn't stop cursing. Whereas Chappelle's thing was he got in trouble for, you know, making LGB jokes or uh, let's say people got mad at Chris Rock at the Oscars thing. And that's why he got slapped by Will Smith and all that. It's, it's, it's all different. It all depends on how you look at it. You know, Kevin Hart cheated on his wives, you know, it, just different things. So that comes with that. Here's one that looks interesting. Okay, I love Cat Williams and Dave Chappelle. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. There's no need for commenters to be so butthurt about what they say. You don't like it, don't listen. Agreed. Easy. I feel like Cat has needed to get some stuff off his chest for a while. Don't forget how everyone was calling him a crackhead not long ago. I didn't see anyone defending his honor. For whatever reason, Cat felt that was something he had to do, came out firing shots from the gate. If all the people he called out got offended, hurt feelings, I imagine so did Cat when the gun was pointed at him. As for Cat not being funny, I think you know better than I think you know better than that. Some of the punctuation here is incorrect, so I'm trying my best here. It's better than that. He is one of the best ever, as is Dave. I love comedy and I will watch them all and hopefully continue just laughing my butt off. Last point, whoever said to cancel Cat is one of those people who can't handle any opinion. That doesn't match their own. I feel that the cancel culture should cancel themselves and let the rest of us enjoy our life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This mess is weak as hell. And I, oh, and I, I ain't mad at Dave for voicing his opinion either, whether I agree with him or not. And the person underneath said, wow, 
You said that so very well. So, I mean, I agree with that. That makes sense. And that's a fair way of putting that. So, like I said, um, the comedy storm, it's, it's still here. The, the, the wildfires are still going on. The lightning is still out there striking. The thunder is still roaring. I mean, it's, it's still a storm. And when the storm will be over, I have no clue. But one thing I suspect is if Cat Williams releases a stand-up special or a movie this year or both, he's going to get a hell of a lot of money. And I say some of it is well-deserved. A lot of, hey, it's well-deserved, so more power to him. But hey, I'm still a fan of all of them. Cat Williams, Chappelle, Kevin, Chris, I'm still a fan of all of them. I got more coming. Like and subscribe.